hello guys and welcome to another video on my channel now today in this video I'm going to show you how to create a text burst effect in Photoshop so the first step is going to be creating a new document and for that I'm going to press ctrl and n to bring up the new document dialog box now in the width I'm going to enter 1920 pixels and the, for the height I'm going to enter 1080 pixels the resolution is going to be 150 pixels by per inch color mode RGB and then I'm going to click on OK okay then I'm going to hold down shift and press F5 to bring up the fill dialog box and from this drop down menu I'm going to choose black to as the contents to fill up the document and then click on OK then I'm going to go over to the tools palette and choose the horizontal type tool from there the font is going to be Arial the font style is going to be regular and the pixel the font size is going to be 400 pixels the color is going to be white so I'm going to type something over here okay now I'm going to click over this check mark over here then by pressing V which is a move tool I'm going to position position this text to right about the middle of the center of the document press ctrl plus 0 to fit the document to your workspace next I'm going to right click on the text layer and choose blending options I'm going to choose drop shadow first and the blending mode is going to be normal the color is, I'm going to be choosing is white the opacity is going to be 100% the distance 0 the spread is going to be 30% and the size is going to be around 10 pixels next I'm going to be choosing inner shadow and the same thing blend mode to normal color to white opacity 100% distance 0 choke percentage 30 and size is going to be 10 pixels then I'm going to choose color overlay and the blend mode is going to be normal the color I'm going to be choose is going to be black and opacity at 100% and then click on OK next I'm going to choose this text burst layer right click on it and select duplicate layer I'm going to hide the topmost layer and I'm going to select the remaining two layers and merge them by pressing ctrl and E next I'm going to go into the filters and choose distort and choose polar coordinates I'm going to choose polar to rectangular and then click on OK next I'm going to go into image and image rotation and 90 degrees clockwise then I'm going to go into filters again and this time stylize and wind the method I'm going to choose is wind and the direction is going to be from the left and then click on OK then I'm going to hold down on control and press F twice to repeat the effect of the filter three times in total now from this point onwards we will be doing everything in reverse order so again go to filters stylize and wind the method is going to be wind again but this time the direction I'm going to change from the right and then click on OK again hold down on control and press F twice next go to image image rotation and choose 90 degrees counterclockwise next go to filter distort polar coordinates and this time choose rectangular to polar now turn on the visibility of the topmost layer okay. 
so this is our basic test burst effect now to add some colors what i'm going to do is go down to the adjustment layers palette and choose color balance from there now this cyan and red slider i'm going to push the slider towards the red a bit and the bottommost slider towards the yellow then i'm going to change the tone from midtones to shadows and do the same thing towards the red and towards the yellow and same goes for the highlights towards the red and towards the yellow so there you have it your text burst effect in photoshop now if you do not like this red and yellow color scheme you can obviously change it so let me show you how to do that just go down to the adjustment palette and click on hue saturation and just play with the saturation slider so you have this purple violet thing going on or maybe slide the slider right over here you have a bit of a greenish and dark brown type uh, light brown type of color scheme anyways but i like the red and yellow so i'm going to delete this layer so guys there you have it text burst effect in photoshop now if you like this video please give it a like and subscribe to my channel anyways thanks for watching and have a nice day everyone